Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is a Friday morning, and um, we've got a lot to go over. <laughs> Hello, blessed ones. Thank you so much for uh, viewing these videos. Uh, I think Kelly's getting it. So, uh, you know, we need to be easy on her. But uh, let me go over. We've got a lot to go over, like I said. Uh, your questions are getting good. You guys are getting it. I'm proud of you. Uh, I'm, I'm watching your response as much as we get here to other people's issues, and you guys are nailing it right on the head. And I, I, I'm real proud of you. I just, I, I, you guys are just being really good healers. You know, this is a process of, of education, working on yourselves, working on others. But in the final analysis, uh, the impact that you guys are going to make to this world is incredible. And I'm, I'm, I'm watching it manifest as we go along here. I've been doing this for a lot of years. I've had my school for a lot of years. But it's definitely since I did this YouTube that uh, really we started uh, uh, going out there a lot more. Um, I've, uh, I've been diligently traveling the world and, and, and hitting it. And, and now it's, uh, you can see how that it's, the world is growing and lifting up with this, and I love this. Had a medical doctor in yesterday. I think she gets this, MS. Uh, I, I, I think that if you get this, uh, you'll really take off and kick butt. And so uh, we are going to put more testimonials on here. Uh, I, I, I just am so busy. And I have been so busy for a number of years, we just haven't videotaped people, so I have to grab them when I can grab them. <laughs> and I got a good guy coming in here to show you what happened to, uh, with no hair on his head and cancer all through him. And I'm excited for you to tell you, he's a really good guy. Uh, he's a Bronco rider out west, and now he's got a lot of degrees, and he manipulates the body in a cool way. Okay, so I'm going to tear into these because we're going to be here for a couple of hours and I apologize for the long videos but that's the only way we can go through these uh, cases and work on them. This concept of a medical doctor going into an office and talking to someone for 10, uh, 12 minutes or so is ridiculous. Uh, you just can't help someone in short periods of time and you know working in that way. So I'm going to jump back and forth. I got some newer and some older ones, and I want to get everybody's questions in. And I apologize if I if I missed any. Keep hanging in there, or if it's vital, call in. You know. Okay, I thought this was an important one, and this was a newer one, but this is Scleroderma. This is Julie, and uh, she's 44. She's Scleroderma. Scleroderma is uh, nasty. Scleroderma, think of your, your body in a vice, and the vice is constantly squeezing you and squeezing you and squeezing you, but it's up around the neck area and everything else, and so uh, very devastating. I've never failed in our health programs to see anyone with scleroderma not cure themselves. We had a lady locally that uh, had scleroderma real bad. She was in the hospital almost dying. She got into raw foods without me. And then she went into selling juices and supplements and Shackley and stuff like this. And she kind of got away from the raw foods. And then she let it kill her. And that was ridiculous. Uh, I told her many times, come up and see me. To, you know, she was scarred up real bad from it. So this lady has been dealing with it um, about seven years ago. Uh, she found my book uh, 19 months ago and has been working on it. But now she's diagnosed with breast cancer in her left breast, invasive ductal carcinoma. Well, half of them are or more. Uh, she is reluctant to do surgeries and things like this. She didn't give me the size of it, sweetheart, but... Um, you remember, this is the lymph system. This is the kidney and adrenal problem on the left side. Your left kidney isn't filtering. So this is the way it is. I would take off on a, on a grape fast, an extended grape fast, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40 days yet better. At the same time, I'd really go after my kidneys, my lymph system, my GI tract. 
So I would do two kidney formulas, a lymphatic one capsules. Start off with lymphatic four, but you can move up to lymph node two. Uh, really move on that because you can always pull it out with black salve, although frowned upon by the FDA. I don't know why frowned upon. You have no right to interfere with the way healing arts work. But uh, uh, that's better than surgeries, although it will be a port, and uh, that's what people don't understand. When you open up an area in the body, and this body isn't draining its lymph system, uh, it'll consider that a doorway. But I would suggest you get this the right way, and that is you fix the kidneys, you get the lymph draining, and this will come right out of there. You have to do this for scleroderma anyway. So I would shift my attention to getting healthy and get away from uh, concepts of diseases which don't exist. This is a lymphatic problem. It's a lymphatic problem with the scleroderma. It's a lymphatic problem with the breast cancer. Nothing's changed on you, Julie. So really hit this, sweetheart, and get hard in there. You're going to have to get real strict. Nick, say the veggies and get real strict now and really detoxify yourself and get aggressive on that and you'll be successful. Do a stomach and bowel formula with that and clean yourself up. But really head on this. You've got to do this. Scleroderma is, you know, I don't know which is worse. Uh, if you do choose to have a lumpectomy or a mastectomy, suggest, of course, it's hard to control them in removing lip nodes. You run a big risk, and obviously chemo and radiation could cause you more cancer in the future by far. So you still, if you do that, you still have to fix this problem. You still have the scleroderma issues, and you, you, you wouldn't have fixed the problem. Uh, yes, fear rules. Fear rules the allopathic community. That's how they rule. If not, people would sit on the side and laugh at it because they're so bizarre in their thinking. They're ridiculous. They're, they're not common sense. It's not, their, their thinking isn't really related to chemistry or physics, really. I mean, they, they, they think so, but I don't know where they learn their chemistry and physics. I don't. Uh, but anyway, don't rule with fear. Rule with knowledge and power and strength. Your body's going to go where you take it. It's that simple. You're the boss. The body's just a mechanical machine. Yeah, little states of consciousness, absolutely. An intelligent machine, absolutely. But you're the boss, and you take your body where you need to take it. And that goes with all of us here. Indiana banana, I will. I will. Uh, Brenda was looking at your eyes, and she said it was just more intense of a lymph system problem on one side as opposed to one brown and one blue. But with that said, we have them back, and uh, I will do them for you over the... Uh, over the uh, YouTube for you, but it, I, I can't do it till next week, and I'm probably going going out of town, so it might be uh, a week and a half or so. Limes. This is very important to understand. Uh, limes is just like lupus and everything else. Everybody's got bit by a tick. You notice that? Uh, whenever you see these systemic issues. No matter what terminology they link to this, an inflammatory autoimmune problem, know immediately it's your lymph system and acidosis. Just because they don't understand it doesn't mean you can't understand it. It doesn't matter what viral, bacterial, uh, protozoa, it doesn't matter what action you see secondary to that, because that is easier to, that, those are easy to remedy in the sense that you never want to destroy the colonies, complete colonies of bacteria in your body, that wouldn't be smart because you get a lot of nutrition, vitamins from bacterium in the body. So you don't kill bacterium. Uh, maybe some overgrowth, and that's what's neat about these herbs. I'll tell you what, guys, these herbs are pretty cool. Uh, you got guys who experienced them pretty strong, too. Uh, as a matter of fact, while I'm thinking about this one case here where... Uh, Talking about had Bell's palsy uh, for a few days. I've had Bell's palsy. The left side of my face is numb and I can't control it or close my left eye. I feel the tingling numbness in the neck and upper back. I've been doing mostly fruits and incorporated the heal all herbs into my regimen. I'm thinking I was taking too much. I bought the herbs singly and I mixed them together myself. Would this cause this type of reaction? Well, when I first saw this, I, I kind of, I've kind of, you know, freaked out. I'm saying, you know, what did, what, what did you mix here? What did you do? Because there's no question herbs can kick your hiney. And not so much in the heal all tea herbs. Those are really pretty nice herbs. 
so I, I couldn't figure this out. In, in, that, in the course of this, Brenda had talked to you. And uh, uh, she said you had had these symptoms before. Well, that's the problem with detox. It'll pull these things right out in front of your face and expose some of the problems, especially if there's heavy metal uh, uh, relationships and stuff like this. Um, I, we were talking. I can't remember. She did suggest, I think, upper circulation. I would do upper circulation and brain and nerve. Pump those two really, really good. At the same time, honey, work on your GI tract and get your lymph moving. Get this acidosis out of there. Another suggestion would be take an adrenal cytotrophin or adrenal glandular and uh, get your adrenals popped up there and give you more neurotransmitters. That will work up into the brain as well. Uh, secondary to that, I would recommend Calma Plus. That is a parathyroid glandular with a little cow mag in it, but it will really help you in an immediate situation with this. You might also consider, if you've got the affordability, to do the antispasmodic. The herbal antispasmodic relaxes the nervous system at the same time feeds it. So I love that herbal antispasmodic. We use that for seizures and uh, spasms, convulsions, things like this. Really great formula, but I get up with upper circulation, brain, and nerve. The real important case here, you don't want to have this. Someone suggested you might have stroked. Uh, if you've had these symptoms before, you have, you could, it could be a pre-mini stroke, you know, a TIA or something, but in reality, you, you're, you've got to get this. You really got to get this. And if you haven't dewormed yourself, you deworm yourself on top of this because you don't know. I've seen cases like this where it was totally parasitic involved. So uh, I would do the whole gamut. You know, deworm yourself, parasite MNG, go upper circ, brain and nerve, antispasmodic, and uh, really honk on that lymph system. Get the adrenals up, get the parathyroid up so you're utilizing calcium and everything starts strengthening and you're removing acids out of the tissues, which causes this. So really uh, go after this, sweetheart, because uh, this is a girl or a guy, I don't know, but... Uh, you, you don't want to get yourself in trouble. This is just uh, your detox is exposing your deeper issues. And that's what detox is. Most people don't realize this. Raw fruits do, and vegetables and herbs don't cause these kind of problems. They, they remedy these, but they will expose these. Limes the same way. Limes going back to that. Get that lymph moving. Get those adrenals up. You will always see kidney and adrenal weakness in limes, and you'll always see systemic acidosis. And you'll see that every time in every case, fibromyalgia, lupus, all of that stuff. Hmm. Isn't this fun? <laughs> you guys are learning a lot, though. Uh, but these are all very curable things, all stuff very curable. It's unfortunate this is the only direction you can do this in a way. Kelly, from what I'm seeing and what you're saying here, I'm proud of you. I really am. I mean, there was a nasty comment here today, I think, but I really like, I, I mean, what you're saying here, if you're from the heart, I, you're really growing. I'm really proud of you. Keep it up. Grab it by the horn. Most of the people here are really on your side wanting you to come through here. A lot of tough love out there in people. There really is. I, I can be tough love. I can't, if I, and I, that's why living in the now. If God needs me to be tough, it'll, it'll, it'll make me tough. I'm really not a tough guy. I'm really pretty, you know, loving kind of guy. I'm, I'm, I'm easy going, you know. But there's sometimes that I, you know, it comes out. I'm just tough. And, it, and I don't know it's going to be whatever the Supreme Being tells me. I, I have no clue. So it sounds like you're getting it, sweetheart, and uh, this is to your advantage. You grab this like a bull. You're going to be riding up and down a little bit. Yeah, you might get thrown off here and there. So what? Get back on. <laughs>